Hi everyone, Jeff Teague here, your Toyota reviewer. Oh boy, here goes, I made this up myself. What did one Tacoma detective say to its partner Tacoma detective when all hope was just about lost of finding the bad Tacoma? We've lost their trail. But I haven't lost their trail because guess what? I've got two of them right here. A two wheel drive trail, a four wheel drive trail, and then we've got an SR5 to compare it to. And before we compare these two, it's important to find out why we're comparing these two. When Toyota announced the arrival of the 2021 Toyota Tacoma Trail Edition, they let us know immediately that it was based on the SR5, double cab, either two wheel or four wheel drive. So we've got them both here. In fact, we've got two of 7,000 going to be manufactured. So two divided by 7,000, I believe that's 0.28%, but I have 0.28% of the entire population of trails right here. As you look at the vehicles, pay close attention to the wheels and tires, to the profiles, to the back, to the front, and then to the inside. In other words, there are differences on every single part of this. And I'm gonna show you the window sticker so you can see the trail edition package. We'll look at the four x four SR5. Remember it's configured based on the SR5 and here's how you order it. You get the trail edition package, which is 1775. And then you can see it's got off-road wheels and tires, bed storage, lockable. You can use it as a cooler. I'll show you that. The black badging, the grill is toward the limited styling. And then you'll see the seats and the plug-in in the back and the all-weather liners. All right, we got that. Let's go. One of the main differences, look at the badging. You'll see that the SR5 is going to have the chrome badging for SR5 and also the word Tacoma, you'll see it in other places as well. It's got color keyed door handles. And then look, it's got 16 inch alloy wheels. They don't have any specific styling to them. They look beautiful, they're a dark gray. You can also upgrade this at no charge to get the black alloy wheels, same pattern, different color. So take a look at this one here. Now we're going to head on over, kind of check it out. Check it out now. Funk Soul Brother, check it out now. Trail Soul Brother. All right, so now we've got black badging. We've got black over fenders. See, they're color keyed on the SR5. Show you the black badging first of all. And then we're going to look at the wheel pattern because you're going to see the pattern is different. This is 16 inch dark gray alloy wheels and see the pattern is different than you see on the SR5. It's got all terrain Goodyear Wrangler Kevlar tires with reinforced layer. See that? It's meant for the trails folks. Meant for the trails. As a matter of fact, let's look at this. All terrain adventure in the house. Let's look at the wheels. Compare the two. Do you see any differences between the wheels and tires that would make you want one versus the other? How do the over fenders look on the army green? That's one of four color choices. Speaking of four color choices, you can get the trail edition in army green. It's available in super white. You can find it in Midnight Black Metallic. And you can find it in cement color. Remember, cement was one of those TRD Pro exclusive colors of previous years. So was Army Green last year, Lunar Rock this year. Wonder what's next? I don't know, or do I? This is the interior to the SR5. You'll find it's gonna be sort of a sport durable fabric. It's gonna be available in an ash gray, or you can find it in black. Now we're gonna compare this after I show you a little close up. To what the trail edition looks like. Trails available in only one color scheme. Gonna look a little closer in the SR5. Just take a look at the fabric seating. This is your everyday vehicle. Of course you can use it on the trails. It's available in two-wheel or four-wheel drive. This is the V6 engine. I'll tell you a little bit more about that shortly. But I want you to get a feel for the interior and just say, is this the feeling I want in my new truck? 
or maybe I'll like the trail better. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, whoa, oh, oh, oh. holiday row, oh, 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 oh. I mean, it is Christmas time, right? Holiday road. Now for the trail edition. This is gonna be black seating, black fabric seating with tan stitching. I'm gonna give you a feel for the front and the back, and then we'll look a little closer at the seat style pattern and stitching okay so there's that right here and then we're going on in to a deluxe apartment in the sky okay so here's the tan stitching right here look a little closer do you like that look I really like this trail edition. There's gonna be one feature on the trail edition that you'll either love it or you'll say, no, this is not for me. I think it's time to check it out. One of the main areas for improvement in Toyota Tacoma, also in Tundra, is more storage. People want more places to hide things, to store things, because we are adventurers. We want to go to the beach and the lake and the mountains and we want to go camping. So we need more spots for our stuff. We definitely need a spot for fishing. Presto change us. So let's open these up. Trail, SR5. Trail. See anything you like? Look at this here. It allows us to have lockable storage in the trail edition. You do sacrifice your bed storage and space. So we're gonna take a look at that. You can see it's got the composite bed. It also has tie downs, a deck rail system, so you can put cleats up there. It's got a storage bin in the SR5. Let's pull it down, come on. There you go. Let's look in here. Oh, that's so interesting. That's so cool. Look at this, it also has the 400 watt plug-in right here. This one right here, this storage one side, you can see the little ice. That one is insulated, so you can use that as a cooler. You can put fish in it, you can put drinks in it, you can put a cold one in it. And then this side here, it's also lockable, but it's not insulated. So let's look inside and see what you can fit in there. All right, we're coming down here. Pop that baby open. And you can see I fit my drink there. Do the do. Wish I was advertising for them. Buco Bucks. So you can see in here, can fit quite a bit. I just didn't have drinks. I wanted to show one of them. And that's insulated, like I said. You can use that for your drinks, your fish. All right, and this one right here can just, hello. <laughs> I don't know what you could say you could fit in here, but well, it's there. What are you going to do now? Chicken, what do you have to say for yourself? I don't know. I was just trying to get to the other side of the trail. Get it? Trail? <laughs> yeah, I don't know really how to explain the fact that there was a chicken in the truck other than the fact that my best friend Brent from high school and college, he sent me this in the mail one day. Typical sense of humor. You can see why we're friends. I love it. I've been trying to use this in a video. Finally, I found the right time, or maybe the wrong time, but I used it anyway. Although the grill design is similar, you'll find them very different because the trail is based on limited front grill design. And you can see it has the chrome surround and then the brushed metallic, very luxury type feel. They both have Toyota Safety Sense on them. And this one has the matte black front bumper. Same thing here, but it has the black horizontal accents. I'll show you up close. Compare the SR5 to the Limited. Do you have a preference? Which one do you like better? Hmm. Yeah, tough call too. We're going to talk about engine performance so you can see how this thing can get going and how it pushes on. So, I did a little bit of a fooler here. This SR5 is a four cylinder engine. Remember, this is patterned on the V6. Trails are patterned on V6, double cab. You can either get two wheel drive or four wheel drive. So let's look at 
this one here. This is a four cylinder engine. It's a 2.7 liter. It's matched with a six speed automatic transmission. It gives you 159 horsepower and 180 foot pounds of torque. This one here, trail edition, is the V6 engine. 3.5 liter V6 engine. It gives you 278 horsepower and 265 foot pounds of torque. This window sticker comparison is gonna be like no other because we're gonna be able to tell pricing for a four cylinder engine versus V6, two wheel and four wheel drive. So take a look at these right here. You can see the bottom one is the 2.7 liter and it has a factory MSRP of 28.8. The SR5 V6 two wheel drive is 32.2. And then the four by four double cab SR5 is gonna be 35.3. This is the 2.7 liter, two wheel drive. All right, made in San Antonio, Texas. Look at the safety ratings and also the fuel mileage. You can see it has the SR5 appearance package. That's because it is the four cylinder and we're upgrading it to wheels that you would see in a V6 normally. So here are our options. Take that 28.8, what's up Ant? Are you going marching one by one, hurrah, hooray? Oh, that's so creepy. He's coming after me. Then we've got some all weather floor mats that we're adding, 30,900. This one here is gonna be our two wheel drive, SR5 double cab, all oh, the ants coming back. Look at him. Go around the window sticker, dude. Here's the MPG. 32.3, and again, you can see that TRD off-road wheels, tires package, everything that's involved, the all-weather floor liners. This is what's standard on the 3.5 liter V6. And then we're gonna take the MSRP, add in the trail, get you to 35.1. Has no options on this specific one. That'll be, well, 35.1. And this is the four by four. Here's the fuel mileage, 35.3. We're gonna add in the parking sonar that it has on it, the premium audio, the dynamic navigation, and then the trail edition, which is actually just a little bit less. All right, we've got 39.9. It has the drop step running boards on it, and that'll be 40,007. And then here's our standard equipment on it. Everyone, thanks so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. I'd love you to become part of my car forum community. Click subscribe. We're at about 61,000 subscribers right now. I'd love you to be the plus one in my group. So join on in, leave your comments, leave your thoughts, leave your opinions, because it's valuable. It's great to see a debate, a friendly debate where nobody fights. So come on in, join the community, hit subscribe and that crazy little notification bell. You'll be notified when I get my next video up. Then you can be the first one to say first or frist. Please follow me on Instagram at toyotajeff1. Follow me on Facebook at toyotajeff. My website is toyotajeff.com and I'll see you next time.